The Premier has confirmed the results from a coronavirus restriction survey dropped in letterboxes across Adelaide won't be passed on to the health authorities. Instead, the data will be kept by Liberal MPs, prompting privacy experts to warn voters to stop and think before sharing their information. Here's state political reporter Isabel Damon. If you received this survey in your letterbox, <laughs> asking you to rank which coronavirus restrictions you'd like to see eased next, you might have thought it could be useful for the state's health experts. Where do you think that information would go? Where would it go? I don't know. I'm hoping to the government. The data is being collected by members of the government, Liberal MPs. But that doesn't mean it will be used to shape the government's decisions on restrictions. Those calls are being made by public servants on the government's COVID-19 transition committee. They haven't asked for it at this stage. So who's it going to then? The Premier says the information will be kept by the members of Parliament who've collected it, but it can be shared with party headquarters. I don't think it's something that the, the Liberal Party is doing. I mean, there are Liberal members of Parliament. But this is not going to the Health Ministry. This is not going to Nicola Spuria. All political parties gather data to use in targeted marketing and campaigning at election time. But how they store it and use it is difficult to track. The political parties in Australia are exempt uh, from the Privacy Act of Australia 1988 from the SPAM Act of 2003 and the Do Not Call Register Act of 2006. And there's a lot of mystery surrounding what political parties do with the data that they collect. Survey recipients, whether paper or electronic, are being warned to think twice before offering up their information. How is your data going to be used and what kind of feedback are you going to receive about the usage of your data? Will it be stored for X number of years, perhaps, to the next election? It's done by all political parties, and I've got to say I've had excellent feedback. Feedback the Premier maintains won't be all that useful after the pandemic. Isabel Damon, ABC News, Adelaide.